back live from Texas. It's Saturday night with Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. A country Saturday night with the whole country gang. Dave and Giggles, Patricia Hunter, Lorna Scott, Gracie, Susan Allard, Cheryl Bodkins, Kathy and that beach bumming beach bum beach bum, Cindy Kendall, Taz, Numbnuts may even be in the house. My Spreaker Daddy, hello Daddy, Brown Eyed Girl, Tammy, Angela, Dan the Man, Knickers, Brandon from the show may stop by if his truck ran long enough to get him home, Sandy, John Rooney, Blakey and Jakey, what we got here then, Ran the Man and Donna of course, and the whole Saturday Night Country Gang on the RTM Radio Network. Country song it is. Hello, everybody. Say hello, Donna. Hello, Donna. Hello. How are you, though? Look who's in the chat room, Jenny Martin. I see. Hello, Hi. Jenny Martin. Hi. Hi, baby. And looky, what we got here then? It's oh Blakey and Jake. The chat room is just busting at the seams. Let's see who's here. We have Kathy. Who else do we have? Hello, Gracie. Nicholas. Gracie. Larry. Hello, Nick. Numbnuts, Dillo, Joshua Gay, and Penny, Patricia Hunter, Marty, get your backside in the chat room. Hello, Penny, Blakey and Jakey. Oh, hi, hello, Shawnee, Nickers, Larry, baby. This is Dave, Larry the pilot, Chris Steele. Yes, and Mr. Dave, of course. Who else? I'm missing somebody here. Penny, Chris hello. Steele. Hello, Chris, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. What's going on up yonder? You're freezing to death? Hello, you gorgeous bunch and Dave. <clears throat> Quite a busy house already. Thank right. you, everybody. Who's passing around the drinks tonight? Angela, Texas is beautiful today. Got some porch time in today. I got to sit outside. Donna doesn't know what she's missing. Oh. Woo, is it nice out there oh, today? Oh, my cold. I can't remember who was asking about my cold. I think it was Angela. You would snot believe this. Oh, my gosh. Every day I'm waking up with a nose full of snot. I'm sure I'm sure there's little snot elves that are putting it up there. Just, for, just to... I actually did a little train stuff today. I went and planted the other post for the other train crossing gate, and I put up a set of lights I had did and you know? uh, cleaned up a gigantic box of stainless screws I had sitting outside since friggin' I don't know when, and uh, the wind blew over some signs I have stacked out back and... Broke my barbecue, and the screws were sitting on there, and dumped them on the ground, so I had to sit there with a little magnet and pick them all up. Been a busy little boy today, but I got outside for a change, too. Good. And the radio dog, I heard he got some gifts today. Oh, Caesar got some gifts in the mail today. Oh, two big bones. Caesar got the bone. (laughs) We'll have him come in here later. (laughs) <laughs> we'll have him come in here later and he can talk about there it. There he is. I think someone, uh, someone's no, on the phone. No, that's not him. He's still in there on the couch. What are you looking at? Oh, well, I thought I heard his feet rattling. You're seeing shadows before. in the camera, I guess. No, you know that little rattling noise. That's me. It's my brain. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> and I got some gifts, too. Thank you very much. You just, what a wonderful woman. I, I just don't have anything to say. Thank you. That's the best I can do. You guys are all right. I'm surprised to see all of you here so soon. Whit woo! And haven't we missed Jenny Martin? Oh, of course we have. Back! Tell her how much you've missed her. I missed her back. <laughs> <laughs> Gracie, I see you're feeling a little better. That's I've good. I missed your front, baby. <laughs> Knickers. 
But Miss Nick is as well. He's been a bit quiet. Hello, Nick. How come uh, Jenny doesn't want to kiss you? What's wrong with that? I don't have a problem because, with it. Yeah, she's, she doesn't want my snot pump. Maybe she's the one that's been sticking snot up my nose every oh, night when I'm in bed. Oh, maybe. Where's the big beach boob at? And is Danny died. Yeah, it must be Dan in the house. Three of you in the chat room. Hello, Sherry. Hey. Yeah, Laura said last night she was out trucking someplace, that trucker. Wow. What are you watching, Angela? Anything good? An old trucking movie? Um, one of my favorite ones was, uh, well, Duel was a great movie. I think the best one. But the one with the big mask on the front of the truck, what the hell was that called? Um, the devil made me do it. You know, what is that thing? I don't know. The trucks took over the truck stop. Lawn mowers mowed over people and all kinds of creepy what, shit. Like, like animated trucks and things, or just or just trucks that were just were big medieval. trucks, big trucks. Like, and they were... Lorries, lorries. You know what a lorry is? <laughs> lorry. Like Lori White? Yeah, we know what a lorry is. Oh, all right then. So you know. Huh, Memoirs of a Geisha. I'd heard of that, but not my kind of movie. That's a girl thing, I think. Well, anyways, nice to see y'all here. Got some music lined up. Oh, country music tonight. Somebody asked for some Patsy Cline. Well, guess what? Here she is. Hello, Patsy. Patsy. But don't forget you've got your version of a Patsy song, too. What's that there, then? Blue. The and play the truck driving man. Truck driving man. That would be me. And you. And you. And her. And her and him and her and you and all y'all trucking oh, along on the RTM Radio Network. What's going on? Donna wanted to say hello to... Deborah Stedman. Hello. Listening. Hopefully she's listening. Hello, Tammy. Jenny, I know she's following us on Spreaker, but I'm not sure whether she's actually been in and listened. I've not seen her in the chat, so hopefully she can pop in the chat and say hello. How are you doing, Joshua? Nice to see you tonight. Hey, Josh. And Sherry. Yes, uh... The question on everybody's lips... Has Josh got some panties on tonight? I don't know. Well, Josh, do tell. We need to know. Um, okay. <laughs> He's been naked for us the past two nights, hasn't he? Well, um, uh, yeah, of course he has. I guess. We Sorry. need to keep up. What song put you to sleep, Josh? What's he talking about, the song put me to sleep? <laughs> Go take a rest then. Maybe you need your ten hours off. I don't know. Anyways. Hey, uh, Paul and Samantha. How you doing? There you go, Blake. Whatever. I saw your Okie Koki on Facebook. So, what we got here then? Um, Who did I miss? I forgot. Oh, Sherry. Yes. Maximum Overdrive. That was the movie I was thinking of. I can never think of the name of it. I was never too big on uh, on uh, on the rubber duck thing with Chris Christopherson and all that. It was a good movie, but... I don't know. I guess the best part was that slutty broad he was hanging out with. Was that Adrian Barbo? Adrian Barboob is what I call her anyways. Oh, he's driving naked. Good God Almighty. What's the matter with you, son? Go put some clothes on for you. Scared to scale, man. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get a cold, so forgive me if I don't talk too much because my throat's getting sore. I've sent it yet over the pond. And I'm tired, and I just my head's all stuffed up. Oh, and I feel it coming on. And tomorrow I'll probably be down and out for the count for a couple of days. Oh, God, I hate that. But it's a coming. It's a coming. It's coming to get me, son. This is Lightfooted Larry talking to you on the RTM Radio Network, where we can all be gay like Dave. Woohoo! TM Radio Network. Hello, everybody. Uh, did I say hello to Nicholas earlier? No, I did. I certainly did. I can't remember if I did or not. I wanted to make sure I did, though. Good evening. Uh, why aren't you uh, showing up up here? I don't know. I said it was a bit quiet. It wasn't working. You're speaking to your microphone. Nope. Hello? There. That's the problem right there. You're not even talking into the damn thing. <clears throat> Let me get mine. How's that? I know mine. There. I know mine's working i could see it but when you talk nothing's showing up oh look Hello? who's in the chat room truck you patty There's the problem right there both of us i see your mic moved mine moved there that's better hello dad and hey boy i hate to turn it up too loud because i know it gets noisy christine lewis is in the chat room hello, hello christine how you doing anyways uh 
Jenny keeps losing sound. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Check the batteries, honey. <laughs> you unscrew the end of that thing and check the batteries. When you turn it back in, you should hear a very low, soft... Then you'll know it's working again. Put it back in your drawer. This is <laughs> Spreaker.com. <laughs> Sherry Spone's typing without her. What is it typing? Oh, sorry. So what is everybody doing with their weekend? We are now on Saturday night. Hello, Patty! Yeah, truck, you Patty. Like, well... <laughs> You're so kind. Oh, my gosh. That Campbell soup, Shawnee. Oh, it's just so salty. You know, when I was in Texas, I actually uh, sent an email, a complaint email to Campbell soup. Because you should have seen... Isn't it dead salty, their soup? Oh, Remember? some some of it's terrible. It's nasty. I think it was like a beef and vegetable soup. And truck you, Patty. Truck, truck, truck you, Patty. <laughs> But I have wondered whether it's just something that you guys in America are used to and that it's something that I'm just not, I guess. Everything's got too much damn salt in it. That's the problem with it. Yeah, the chicken noodle soup is terrible. I remember when I first got into Texas, it was like everything was just way too salty. And that used to be my favorite soup, too, when I was a kid. Campbell's soups were awesome. And now all that salt, you know, it's just too much. Maybe just, it's me, but... They're just not that salty in England. I don't know whether it's to do with your American tastes over here. <laughs> Hell if I know what to think, man. Everything's fucked up in this country. A bunch of friggin' losing wine and assholes anymore. Anyways, where was I? I'm not sure. What's my special soup? Oh, I don't even want to don't even want to ask. <laughs> Spunk, Joshua's he's probably having... he's probably spunking in a bowl, aren't you? <laughs> Joshua's Just... <laughs> having trouble with his coloring book. What's the matter? You can't see the white on the white pages? Hmm. Use they, the clear crayon. Do you know like that? Um, do you know like that M and M's advert? I bet you make yourself a spunk a spunk soup. Just get in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> get you're in the bowl. <laughs> you're sick. Nothing like having get in the bowl. Uh. <laughs> Very bad joke. All right, let's move Sorry along over here. Throat. How about a tune for Mister Dave? Because I want to go put some icing on a cake I made. So this will this will last long enough for me to do that. Raina Man and Donna on the RTM. Radio Network. RPM Radio. Randy Man, what have you got for me? Randy and Donna. Coming to you live from Texas, it's Donna and Randy Man. Friday and Saturday night. On RTM Radio. You're listening to Randy Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. Speed Limiter Blues and Brad James on the RTM Radio Network. The king of truck and country in our little world. Whatever you're doing, nobody can hear you and they don't want to hear what you're doing. Go back. Silence! Go do what you were doing. Random Ann and Donna way over there in her kitchen, wherever the hell she may be. <laughs> Something about she's pinching a turd, I guess. I don't know. Hi, Wendy Offerman. How are you? Lazate, Lazetti, Lazati. Hi. I try. I love to pronounce weird names. Sometimes I get them right. Sometimes I don't. Anyways, hi, Wendy. How are you? Nice hi. to see you here. How are you doing? Love it. Christine, hello. Christine, what's going on? And Paula's in the chat room. And Chris said she was. Becky? Chris said she was once with a guy who shaved his whole body. It was like being with a porcupine. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm back, Becky. I had to go ice my cake. It's friggin' awesome. Too, too cool. I love cake. I love those yellow cakes. Betty Crocker, those uh, butter cake yellow jobbers. Oh, they're freaking awesome. And they're so easy for a guy like me to make. Mix it up in a kettle and I let Caesar use his tongue to stir up the batter and mix it up because I don't have a mixer. Oh, did ya? Oh, yeah. But look at, man. Look at this. Look. See that? Look how nice he mixed that up. He's a good dog. Oh, um, he's amazing. Um, nom, nom, nom. Good stuff. Anyways, yes, Becky, I'm here... Uh, and where the hell's Marty tonight? Oh, I'm going to send in the heavies for that girl. She better get her backside in this chat. I don't know, but hello, Patricia. I know I said hello to Marty. And I thanked Marty for the beautiful gifts, and thank you, too. You guys are just freaking unbelievable. they got to be two of some of the most real humans I have ever met. I don't even know what to say about it. So, that's... Uh, 
I know you're not talking to me, Sean. You're not calling me sir. That's the last thing you want to do. Well, Mrs. Dave, hi, 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 hi. Mrs. Dave, take it easy there, whatever you're doing. <laughs> yep, we know you're there, Mrs. Dave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we did say hello to you at the beginning of the show. I even put you in every friggin' intro. <laughs> Do you ever say thanks for that? No. It's not like we don't remember you or think of you. Oh, Caesar's just loving it. Oh, my God. I got a little video I'll try to get to you. <coughs> I'll post it to him. He just sits there and gnaws on that thing. He just loves it. Oh, he wanted both of them. I showed Donna the video. She started cracking up. But Caesar was like, he's, I left the box. It was so nice outside, you know. I set the box on the porch. I took the one bone out, opened it up. and My dad came over, and he was checking it out. Well, Caesar went over and gnawed on that thing for I don't know how long. Then finally come over and I'd taken the rest of the stuff out of the box and I laid the bone on the porch. <coughs> Caesar come over there. <coughs> he wanted both of them. Excuse me. What did you say? <coughs> finally, I get a bone. <laughs> it was something like that. Mm. Sorry, my throat is really getting nasty. Did you shake your lettuce, Donna? I did. Well, I hope so. I don't know why, but uh, Wendy, check your box. There's something in it. <laughs> <laughs> you shake your lettuce if you've not got no toilet roll. If you've got nothing to wipe your chuff with, you have to shake is that what your it lettuce. Is? Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> All right, then. Sorry, I'm gagging over here, but... Like oh, said, but that video of Caesar where you're going over to him, you're going over to pinch his bone, and he runs off with it, and galloping like a horse. Oh, my God, he sounds like a horse, too, out there on the ground. He's... What a doggy. Anyways, moving right along before I choke to death over here. Random Man and Don on the RTM Radio Network 746. Got a song for Larry. Dig this one, man. Groovy tune. I just got home and found the note you left lying on my pillowcase. You say you're leaving. Cool thing, but I'm going to play it because I like to laugh just as much as you do, so check it out. Hey, let me tell you about the Random Man Diet Plan. That's right, it's called Stop Eating You Fat Fucking Bastard. The Random Man Diet Plan, like I said, called Stop Eating You Fat Fucking Bastard. For $19.99, we don't send you no audio tapes. We don't send you no videotapes. That's right, we send you a roll of duct tape to put over that mouth of yours so you can stop eating, you fat fucking bastard. That duct tape will keep the Twinkies from coming in. So don't forget, 1999 from Random Man, you can get to stop eating, you fat fucking bastard. <laughs> well, most of you'd have to be there, unless you watch Big Chuck and Little John or Big Chuck and Houlihan or any of that stuff from Cleveland TV, WJW Channel 8. What the hell is that that you're like in your phone? <sighs> it's a machine gun. Or oh. it's an AK, I believe. Looked like an AK-15 or something. But oh, is that one of your uh, one of your gifts? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm. I didn't know I held it up high enough you could see it, but I love the dog tag on. It's an M16 rifle. Sorry. You'll have to get your mum to take a picture tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, I got three more today. Another fishing pole. I got a shotgun and a <coughs> rifle. Friggin' shotgun was cool looking, but the rifle was even better, man. I was thinking sniper. It was very cool. Loved it. <laughs> so anyways, thank you, Marty, again, and Patricia. Caesar loved getting boned. He just thought that was the greatest. Oh, 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 my stars! They also put, oh, you guys, I just like, I had a boner all day munching on this shit, but they had uh, the box of... Uh, Ah, 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 what do you call that shit, man? Click clacks, uh, gooey stuff, caramel corn. Uh, well, the box looks like it says toffee popcorn or something. Yeah, what the hell's that shit called? I love it! But they sent me a box that, oh my god, I had instant bonage, man. I was walking around with a tent for the next hour or so. <laughs> Spring. <laughs> oh, I love that stuff. It's fantastic. I think, thank you guys enough for that stuff. Oh, I am so glad I'm not in Texas right now. You know what? I can't stand the smell of toffee or caramel. So I'm so glad. Brenda, well, hello, sweetheart. How nice of you to stop by. I'm tickled to death to see you. 
went New Brenda from way, way back in the day. Hi. hi Very David. cool. Nice to see you here. How are you? Awesome. Everything good? I know it kind of faded away on Facebook, but you know how that goes. Everybody just kind of goes their way, and I've been involved in T-shirts and signs and lions and, and tigers and bears. What? <laughs> and a crazy Brit. Well, yeah, but that's just par for the course, having a crazy Brit around. Everybody should have one. So, anyways, and nice Tater. to see you here. I'm tickled to death. I love when the Grand Valley people show up. Grand Valley. Because I hope when they go by some of my old friends that I don't like anymore, they go by and they go, nah, 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 Randy's on the radio. <laughs> where's, Grand Va- where's Grand Valley? In Ohio, where I was ah. born and raised. And raised and raised and raised and raised forever till I moved here. Grand Valley kind of remi- makes me think of, um, I don't know, a nice gorgeous stream in the woods the big wide open spaces <laughs> makes me think of lots of water and lots of green and trees and you know rocks what and and brenda waterfalls. will know this brenda knows this where mom and dad lived on 45 in rome <coughs> excuse me dad had when he built the house he put this big set of picture windows in the front and you could look out over the valley like that and it was absolutely freaking beautiful what a nice view you know i mean it's ohio and northern ohio's it's rolly Snowy. Rolling hills kind of thing, but it's what a beautiful view it was. It really was. I mean, I, I do miss that kind of stuff, but man, I don't miss that cold and that snow. Not a chance in hell. I just can't wait to get back to Texas. Well, good. You're getting good. Sunshine. Pretty soon you'll be able to get around and irritate everybody again. That's the way to do it. Beautiful thing. So everybody else is doing all right. I'm so glad. I'd love to see you guys here. Michelle, all these people, you get more of them. Unbelievable. Awesome. That's cool. It just tickles me to death because I have such good memories of growing up. You know, in Orwell, Grand Valley, Ashtabula County, uh, Northeast Ohio, all those places, you know, it was great. Oh, it's beautiful in the fall. My God, there's nothing better than taking a ride up through the covered bridges and through the woods and over the river and to Grandma's house and all that cool stuff. So, yeah, it's very cool. I do miss that. I miss a lot of things about that place. I loved the high school. I had a good time in school. It was all pretty much good times for me. Very few bad times in that neck of the woods. I loved going to vocational school. It was great. Wide open spaces would be another phrase for a lot lizard. <laughs> well, I guess that's one way to put it. Yeah, you come from Lake County, but you're still, you know, you're still a native of that whole Northeast Ohio thing. So, I mean, that includes Cleveland and clear out Lakewood and way out Avon. As far as I'm concerned, that's all Northeast Ohio. All of that is. But very cool. I'm just tickled to death. Oh, and Dale says, we like to tickle you, Randy. And there's uh, Dale, meet Dale, our uh, resident bit strip king. Oh, yes, you clown. We just, saw, we just saw the post that you put on the RTM page, you clown. I'm just waiting for Dale to tickle my lungs with one of those twisted wonders over Did there. Did you know, guys, that Dale calls Caesar the radio dog pod dog? He's a pod dog. <laughs> <laughs> Very crazy. <coughs> yeah, Brenda, you'll have to... Hang around here if you can for a little while. Caesar the yeah. radio dog will be here in a little bit. He's snoozing right now. I hate to bother him when he's sleeping, but pretty much all he's done for the last two weeks. Just the last couple of days, we've been getting sunshine. It's getting nice around here. So anyways, let's move along. Got more tunage to play here. How about a random man and Donna tune? No? Yeah, Donna's let's do it. giving me nasty looks. Like, why do you want to play that shit? Let's do it. I ain't got no panties on. All right, we'll do it then. Let's jam some gears and we get moving. <laughs> Listening to Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. Other listeners on the radio, the 
they like the Ran Man, don't you know? And Donna too, oh way, oh they like it when she tells him what to do. All the Randy rants make them laugh, he likes to rant on the radio. And the chatters chat, oh way, oh they talk about his erection. Donna spies Randy with his bone edge, way, oh way, oh way. With an erection. Okay, it's my turn now, right? Yes, it's your turn. Go ahead. Okay, my turn. I'm feeding the radio dog, I like to lay down on the floor. I got the moves away, oh, I like to tell Pop what to do. Donna likes to sing on the show, she likes the country and rock and roll. When the bonus points away, oh, she walks with an erection. All the chatters in the chat room box say, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. They walk with an erection. Yankee on the bread tuck some shit, he puts the loo roll on the back. He sings and dance away, oh, oh, he'll strike a pose on the toilet. If you wanna talk a lot of shit, you need to hang out with the Brit. She'll sing and dance away, oh, oh, and then she pulls down the Yankee's pants. With Caesar and that dog jacks, they like to join in on the show. And that dog sails all the time! Caesar, can you get an erection? All the chatters in the chat room box say, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh, way, oh. Walk with an erection. Walk with an erection. Hey, Bob, what's all this talk about owners and erections? How come I can't get one of those? You've, uh, you've been nipped. What? What's that mean? Nip. Anything like nip and tuck? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, man. That's just not right. Hi, this is Mr. Day. You can all be gay like me with Rand the Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. I got a bunty on. Supper's on the stove and beers in the fridge. 
bridge. Red sun sinking out low on the bridge. Names on the two the daddy smoking cigarettes. Whiskey keeps his whistle away. Funny to think the touch you never miss. In a world gone crazy as this. Randy Hill and Faith McGraw. No, Faith Don, Ma- Donna Don, Hill and Donna Randy Faith McGraw. And Randy McGraw, Randy. <laughs> the RTM Radio Network with Random Man and Donna. It is 8.09 on a beautiful Saturday that evening. That was for you, Giggles, in the chat room, if you're still listening. Yes, got to satisfy the Giggles, that's for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, Brenda, we do lots of singing, if you can call it that. But we have fun. That's the key to the whole thing. Oh, and I just love interrupting the American. Oh, oh. my God, what a pain in the ass. She's a Brit, a Brit wit, a Brit with no wit. I love Shack for wick, Wendy. Shut up. We can do Love Shack, sure. That's one of my favorite ones. Donna and I had such a friggin' awesome time oh, doing yeah. that song. Oh yeah, one of a uh, well, okay, one of a few favorite <clears throat> times doing it when I was in Texas. Just one amazing night. We were just singing and dancing and being crazy and just. Oh. And if you haven't seen the video, Wendy, go over to Donna's YouTube page and check it out because yeah. we just had a friggin' Yeah, type in ride. Donna Hattie and just find that video. It's you can just see, so cool. You can see toothless random man over there having a good time, that's for sure. One big tooth missing. Friggin' redneck hillbilly, come on. <laughs> but that's what we do. We have a lot of fun. We play a lot of music. You guys are here. And I tell you what, part of I tell it. you what, sometimes I don't see it when I'm, when I'm speaking to Randy Ball. I tell you what, in that video, he's got it bad about me. Oh, baby. <laughs> hey, we got a song to sing, I think. Are we? Yeah. Well, Jib Jab has requested that we sing Wings of a Dove by Merlin Husky. Well, I wrote it on my little list. Not exactly what no. I was talking about. What I was what? thinking, happy birthday to Kevin. Oh, yeah. Shall we? Three. Two. One. Three. Happy. Four. Wait. Five. Three. Two. Okay, go. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. One. Happy birthday to you! Two. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday to Kevin Kendall! Happy birthday! To you. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Kevin. Happy birthday, buddy. Love it when somebody has a birthday. That means you get to suffer a little longer. <laughs> like we all have to do. Oh, the time. All the time. Sturgill Simpson. What's a Sturgill Simpson? Is he related to Homer? We'll have to find out. Well, check Brenda, it out. Brenda says she works with the British. Is, is she crazy like me? You know, Randy, I'm like the main person that Randy's had as an example of what Brits are like. <laughs> oh, my God. If they're anything like she is, I'd has never it, go to Britain. Has it put you off for life? <laughs> and there's knickers in the chat room. And he's one crazy dude as well. Where are you working, Brenda? I have no clue, to be honest with you. That would be interesting. Are you working around Orwell somewhere? Or I don't even know where you live anymore. I forgot. I looked it up there when I was... Looking at your page a long time ago, 
Can you remember any of that stuff? Getting old. Yes, Love Shack will do that pretty quick. Holy cow, I can't reach my volume. Sorry about that there, numb nuts. <laughs> Hope we didn't break anything. At least we tried not to break anything. But we just love to make noise. Shawnee said she's heard my voice in a dream. And she probably oh. heard it out loud when you were here in Texas. She probably heard it all the way <laughs> down there where she lives. Well, if, you, if you're listening to me my sh- in your sleep, in your subconscious, sort it out, Shawnee. You know what I mean. Oh, Giant Eagle in Geneva. That store hasn't been there all that long. I remember when they built that store. Well, I guess that's long enough. That's been quite a few years, I guess, now that I think about it. Hell, I didn't realize I'd been gone that long. I've been down here in Texas. Uh, eight years or so, I think I've been here anyways. So, uh, and it was there before that. So, yeah, I guess it's been quite a while. Ah. What we got, Ed? Num Nuts said, holy cow, I can't reach my volume. <laughs> I know, oh. Poor guy, I probably heard him. Oh. Joshua's got ear problems over there now. Now he's got to go to the doctor. I know, I went to, uh, when I, before I left Ohio, they had, uh, uh, you know, I was living with Cinnamon. And uh, they had a, a, a hearing doctor, hearing specialist, uh, What I forget what you call them, a hearologist or whatever the hell they are. But uh, Hank Sr., please, tenfold, please stand by. And... Uh, I went over there and the, they did ear, free ear tests for people, and uh, eh? I went in there and he gave me the ear test, eh? and he said, uh, "You can't hear women." I was like, "Oh, this is the best day of my life!" And what he meant was just certain tones. Women's voices have a different pitch than men's do. He said, so I was like, "Yeah, baby, I took advantage of that." I t- cinnamon talked to me the rest of the day. I never said a word. <laughs> oh, that man has selective hearing. What? <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> Everything is bigger in Texas, Pat. You want to want me to show you? I mean, look at Caesar. He's got big bone. <laughs> yeah, there's the sea. Yeah, see, there's Caesar. There's cactuses. There's burgers. There Everything's are no, bigger in well, Texas. Well, I can't say there's no cactus in Texas. I'm sorry. I was thinking of. Uh, <clears throat> oh yes, Kathy, I got that song for you. Yes, I do. Um, anyways. But we're so glad you reminded him. <laughs> I was thinking of Segura cactus, which don't only grow in Arizona. So I uh, I was thinking, y'all, there's no cactus here. Yeah, there is. All those ones I brought mom, <laughs> you saw them out front where they were planted. They're beautiful when they bloom. Man, are those gorgeous flowers. You wait. You'll be over here by then when they bloom Oh, again. I know. I can't wait. I can't wait to see your mom again. And I can't wait to see Caesar the radio dog. It won't dad. be long now. Won't be long at all. Let me find that song here for Kathy. Oh, they do, Brenda. They do. Selective hearing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not all just men Just remember, have I that. have selective hearing too. I can just uh, pretend I can't hear you on the radio, and I can just talk right over you. Donna. Hello. Donna. <laughs> hey, there's Beach Boob. What's up, buddy? There he just is. Just got to say aloha, and I'm finally enjoying the 60 hey. degree weather. Well, very good. I'm glad you got down here. I'm sorry I missed you. I was pretty irritated about that, but... It was more important to go to court than it was to, uh, the divorce is final after eight years or so of that. Does that mean you like single but not single? Huh? Does that mean you like single but not single? I'm selective. You may as well be married. (laughs) How the hell? Caesar Jacks. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's 64 and... Oh, you're in Texas, too. Sorry. I was going to say, I thought that said Kansas. So yeah, Dale, say, I know better than that. It's all booked. It's all booked and paid for. I'm heading back to Texas in just a few more weeks. I I'm all wait. packed up. Uh-huh. I'm all ready. <laughs> but Randy is not going to know. Nobody's going to know when I'm coming. I'm just going to call him up and say, hey, you should have been at the airport. She's Where just, are you? <laughs> she's just going to scream real loud, and I hope I know it's going to be her. I'm going to call him up and go, Caesar Jacks! Oh, no. <laughs> all the time! <laughs> <laughs> Please, not that. No. And, I, and I want one of those big banners across the front of your truck, you know, like he did last time. He did, uh, when, when I arrived in Texas in September, he, uh, he told me to come to the front of his truck. And I tell you what, the biggest, hugest banner on the front of his truck with this big chick. And it's... <laughs> hey, help me, Doc. He says, hey, help me, Doc. She just taught me a new English phrase, so I figured I'd better put it to good use. Yeah, and then when I actually got back to his cabin... In uh, where he lives, there's a sign where, where he writes all his uh, sign business stuff. It actually says at the bottom of the sign, Saturday the 8th of September. Pick up mouth at the Pick airport. up mouth. 10.15 <laughs> <10:15 laughs> p.m. <laughs> Little shit. 
Look at that. It's warm all over the south today. How cool. And Larry, just in case you didn't know, it was like 70-something down your neck of the woods today, 72 or 3 today. Beautiful down there. And where are you at? Uh-huh. Up in the Buckeye. That's what you get. You'll learn. You'll learn. Anyways, here's a song for Kathy on the RTM Radio, Radio Network. Network. Uh, where are we at here? Over here. Tana on the RTM yeah, Radio, Radio Network. Network. Our version of Love Shack. One of the best songs we ever did. We had so much fun. Oh, it was crazy. I loved it, man. I wish you guys could come over and all get together and sing one big song like oh, that Oh, it'd together. be amazing. How Everybody cool all in this room. It could oh. be the RTM Orchestra or RTM Choir. Gang or- bang. <laughs> the RTM gangbang. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. That sounds better, good doesn't name it? For it anyways. I must apologise to Wendy. Actually, I've just checked my. Um, I, are you the same girl that was uh, that was messaging me on Facebook a few weeks back? I'm not sure whether it's the same girl. Uh, oh no, it's Wendy Olson. Okay, forget that. Just ignore. I said ignore that. All right then. Very Pretend good. I never said anything. <laughs> well, I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, so just ignore it. <laughs> no, I thought it was a different Wendy. I got a, I got like a message about message about uh, about religion in my inbox from someone called Wendy, and I thought, I wonder whether that's the same Wendy. I don't know. And I kind of like w- went to town on her a bit. I just don't know. <laughs> Coming up though, one for uh, Beach Bum. What that makes me by Chris Young. Uh, also. Uh, Carrie wanted to hear, take this job and shove, shove it. it. Up your bum. But before that, Dale asked for a tune, and here it is, buddy. Introducing better modern sound and country music. Country music. Country music. Country music. Country music. Dale, Dale. I've seen Jesus play with flames in the lake of fire. Sturgill Simpson, turtles all over the place. Hey, let well, me mention this thing before I forget. Not exactly what it's called, but. What? Uh, I was thinking about, I was thinking the other day, because when, when I was younger, my brother used to have this singing voice, and he used to have like, this quite sweet singing voice. And um, I remember that voice so, so like, it's, like it was yesterday, pretty much. I remember that sweet little voice of his. Because that was yesterday. Shush your face, you. How do you like it when I talk to <laughs> you? Continue. Anyway, um, what, I was, uh, what I was thinking was, sometimes it's not, it's not everything I say or everything that I sing. It's just sometimes when I hear some of our songs that me and Randy have done, just a, it's just sometimes just a, not even a quarter of a second or sometimes just a half a second of just something in my voice reminds me of my brother singing from when he was like really, really young. You don't suppose it has anything to do with the fact that you're related? No, 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 no. no. I know that, of course. But I just wondered... Because, you know, I asked my brother, like, a few weeks back, you know, can you sing? And he, he was like, mm, you know what my brother's like. Anyway, but um, I just, like, wondered, you know, can he really sing? Because, um, I don't know, just there's just that little something in my voice that I hear. Well, you, you can't sing. What makes you think he's going to be able to sing? Well, exactly, but <laughs> I, just wanted, I just wanted to know what he sounds like, you know, if he... If he was to break into music, which I'd really, really doubt. I think it'd be cool. I, I just, I like to sing. I don't give a shit if anybody sounds any good or not. I mean, within reason, of course, but I think. And a lot I wonder, of and I do, and I do wonder if he was to start singing, whether he'd have that weird accent, like he, like he talks, you know, his Scouser accent. I have always thought that there's cool. a song for everybody. Everybody, there's a song that everybody, you know. Yeah, each individual, I think so. individual person, there is a song that they can sing, whether they have a bad voice or not, or whether they think they do, but. I think there's one out there for everybody, if you want my own opinion, or make up your own and sing it, but I think there's one for everyone, I guess is what I'm trying um, to say. Num Nuts, answer to your question. I had that one earlier, that one that we've been playing. Um, I've not had anything off you, like, in the past few minutes or anything, if that's what you're asking. You want to hear the wedding march? Are you serious? Are you getting hitched? Dum, dum. Who's getting hitched? Didn't Tammy say she's getting married? Uh, oh, yeah, Aren't she Aren't you guys getting married, she's right? Getting- Dearly departed. <laughs> Is that what you say? <laughs> I know she can, Patricia. I just like picking on her. What good would it be if I didn't pick on her? You guys it, would be bored. You'd be listening to somebody else. So lonesome I could cry. Okay. I can do that. You guys have stopped scrolling long enough for me to cut and paste. All right, where was I? Um, let's see. Oh, Beach Bum song. Here we go. Just for Beach Bum. What That Makes Me. The Chris Young. The RTM Radio Network. 
Dave abused Dave. Hi, this is Mr. Dave. You can all be gay like me with Ran the Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. We've been on the show for nearly two hours and we've not abused Dave yet. Well, we got to cut What's the guy a little about? slack. No, we have not. Well, we do. Let's abuse Dave. We do, do it now. <laughs> now. Go put your face on, Ethel. It's looking normal again. Abuse Dave, not me. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, boy. What do, I, what do I think to the Fifty Shades of Grey? Um, Hop to it. I, shh. <laughs> You've got the right sound effect for the theme of what we're talking about, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Um, I, abs- I was absolutely uh, gripped with the storyline. I, I actually thought that... The Good night, of- Sandy. Shh. I actually thought some of the... Sex- Hi, Paula. <laughs> I've got to the- get all this in. You talk so friggin' much. I'm just squeezing it in where I can. Keep talking, ignore so, me. Some of the sex storylines, I mean, some of them were, like, smoking hot. And some of them I, I found... I don't know. Sometimes I just thought there was just too much sex. I was like thinking, oh my God, is there any day where Anastasia doesn't nearly die? Ah. I was thinking, oh. I was, uh, in fact, I was, my, my, actual, my actual thoughts was Anastasia or Rory from Doctor Who. They nearly die on every, nearly die every day. Who the hell's Anastasia? She's, she's the girl that um, plays the lass in Fifty Shades of Grey. But anyway, I was absolutely gripped with the story. Um, more the story than the sex, to be honest. Um, you lying bitch. No, I mean, I, I, I love sex. I'm absolutely crazy about sex. But um, I don't really do much reading about it, but I was kind of gripped on the storyline itself. You know, helicopters and all that, dude. Uh, yeah, Harry Potter, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I never read it. I never picked it up. I. But some of it, ooh, it was like smoking hot. Mm. Which book was the best? Um, I don't know. Kind of, the kind of all of them were kind of good in their own way. You know, the first one kind of explored it, and then I don't know. I kind of loved them all. Fifty Shades of Grey is what we're talking about. <coughs> what Donna's talking about. I don't know anything about it. But um. Another thing about me and books is I forget absolutely everything that I've read. So uh, sounds like I, a book full of seduction to me. I uh, remember there was lots of fucking in it and a great storyline, but I just can't remember most of it to be honest. Is it uh, is all this sex described explicitly in there or what? Uh, or oh it, yeah, yeah. Very, but I mean, very, is it described porn-like or is it described in a very adult, you know, kind of manner? Oh no, kind of porn-like, very, very, yeah, really? ex- very, very explicit. You mean he grabbed yeah. her and spread her open and then things? Yeah. Like that. Oh, you damn. know, there was lots of uh, there was lots of stuff about um, you know him having a walking with those kind of balls up a vag and blah 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 to create <laughs> vibrations and all sorts of stuff and you know I'm feeling all those sorts good of, all vibrations. Sorts of stuff. <laughs> um, very, very, very graphic. And apparently, I was reading about the Fifty Shades of Bet, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Apparently, there was there was a particular. Uh, everyone was mad on this particular book for a while, and apparently, there's going to be lots of Fifty Shades of Grey babies. You know, babies that were conceived because people, because girls had been getting overexcited after reading this book and wanting lots of rampant sex with the fella. Well, the point of that is there'll be more books. We'll make more money. Yeah. Well, I guess. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be lots of Fifty Shades of Grey babies. <laughs> Kathy says her brother read them and he don't even read. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't were, read, but I figured it out. They were great. They were great books. I would have read. Th- I would have read them all, with or with or without the sex involved. To be honest. But uh, oh, and the guy looks so hot in the movie. But they should have made him um, like Copperhead. You know, like um, you know, in the book they describe him as a as a Copperhead hottie. Um, a copperhead, huh? Yeah, copperhead. And the way, the way he sounds makes me think of that guy that... Uh, oh, what's his name? You guys are going to have to Google, his, Google this guy. Um, oh, what's his name? It was in True Blood, if you guys watch True Blood. Uh, and he played, he played the uh, half vampire, half fairy. He's a fairy? Yeah, he was like half vampire, half fairy, and he was. Oh, I was thinking copperhead. I was thinking Dave fairy. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Oh, Rob Robert Kaczynski. Google Robert Kaczynski. Now he would be my Christian Christian Grey, my copperhead hottie. I see. I don't like. I said I don't know that much about it. 
You gotta push away, huh? Push it, push it, come on. Come on, push everything out. Everything out, I want to see everything out. Come on. Random Man and Donna Natrix on RTM Radio. We'd like to do another song for you. Of course, we always like to talk about our state of Tennessee. So we'd like to uh, do this one and dedicate it to all the nice folks who like waltzes called the Tennessee Waltz. I was waltzing with my darling to the Tennessee <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Caesar the Radio Dog. How are you tonight? Hey! Pop had to go in the hey, kitchen for a minute. Right? I'm taking over. This shit just got sexy. We have Caesar oh, the boy. Radio Dog. Thanks, baby. I could just hear his feet rattling around the floor. You look pretty good tonight, Donna. Yeah? What do you Am got I on? I like hot to trot. You got makeup on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you look sweet. Gotta look hot for my man, haven't I? Hey, did you see the big bone I got today? I did. Oh, but it's sweet. It was nice, man. Thanks, Marty. Thanks, Patricia. That was how, some good how, stuff. How was your bum after having that big bone? Oh, baby. <laughs> Swollen. <laughs> Caesar, get out of here. What are you doing in here anyways? I just come in to say hello. Yeah, but, you know, this is my show. Yeah, but you don't mind, do you? Well, no. Not as long as you're not getting all perverted like you usually do. Who, who me? I would never do such a thing. Did well, you well, come in, did I ain't you, buying it. Did you come in to say thank you to pa, to Marty and Patty? I did. That's the only reason I came in here. Yeah? Other than that, I come to get Pop let me outside. How, well, was, how was the bone? I heard your Pop was trying to get it off you. Oh, that thing was awesome, man. I've been gnawing on that bitch for two or three hours. Yeah? That's why I had to lay down and take a nap. Wore myself out. Apparently he was looking for something in there off Dale. Well, when you got you? a bone that big, you know, it's a lot of work. Was it? Was you looking looking for your doobie off Dale inside that? Bone? I keep looking, but it ain't coming the mail yet. Oh. I think the mailman smoked it. Wouldn't, oh. <laughs> wouldn't, Not surprised. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me any either. She looks like she'd smoke a good one. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Ah, stop it! Told you no <laughs> perversion tonight. I'm not trying to be perverted. She's hot. Well, all right then. You say so. You ready to go outside? Is that it? Yep. Can you open the door for me? Well, you seem to do everything else around here. Why can't you get out? I just have an issue with that. Caesar, knob. do it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do it now, Caesar. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Thanks, Marty. Thanks, Patricia. You guys rock. We'll see you later. All right. Bye. Let me start this song and I'll let you out, all right? Okay. Works for me. Good deal. I don't know why you want to hear this, Patricia, but here I am. They put a smile and a towel in the picture on the billboard in the field of the big old highway. I do, 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 do. I do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Thrill is gone. Thrill is gone away from me. Thrill has gone away from me I can't get random man on the radio So woe is me <laughs> Put your willy away <laughs> And get Smells. out the air freshener too dude. Yeah I was going to say your willy you? whips a bit Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio, Radio Network, Network, Saturday night, 923. You guys are just like the coolest in history. That's all I can tell you. I know. We love our Dan. We absolutely love our Dan Marsh. Yes, good old Dan Marsh. Dan the man. Dandy man. He's got this thing at the minute where he has to post pictures saying, smell my finger. And you never know where that finger's been. What message did you just get, Angela? I mean, you just put it in a... Spreaker chat, so you might as well tell us now. Oh, what Angela's still here? Hi, Angela. Yeah. Glad to see you're still here. We're quiet there. What for was a while. the message you just got? What's the message? Tell we won't me. tell anyone. Whisper. Yeah, whisper. Psst. Type in a whisper. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but 
You'll figure it out. I think you should play Don 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 a Pie by Dan Marsh. It's just a, such a cool song. Dave, go put your assless chaps on. <laughs> Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Thank All you. The time. That makes it complete. That's for sure. Always nice to have you guys here. I just can't never say that enough. But I'll keep talking. Or Donna should talk for a minute here. Oh, what's to talk about? I have no idea what to talk I don't know, about. Talk about anything. Oh yes, guys. 2016. Mr. Dave Summers in the chat room, you know, gay boy, he said he's going to be singing the uh, pussy song with me. So if you guys want to hear Dave sing the pussy song, you get it, better get yourself booked on the 2016 cruise. Cheryl Bodkins is in the chat room. Good evening. Hello, Cheryl. How are Hi. you tonight? Nice to see you. Always awesome. nice to have all you guys drop in. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't drag her in by her ears this time. She'd come in willingly this time. I see. Well, that was we didn't a... scare her away last night. I'd drag her in by the ears, but you'd probably slap me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of that. So, moving right along, Random Man and Donna on the... RTM Radio Network. That would be us. Random Man on RTM Radio. Wait a minute. I forgot to have a song ready. That's what I was going to do. This right here. Dan Marsh again. She was a working girl over England way. Now she's hit the big time in the USA. And if she could only hear me, this is what I'd say. Donna Fly. You are driving me frantic Sail across the Atlantic To be where you belong Donna Pie My position is tragic Come and show me the magic Of your radio song You became a legend on the radio Over there with Ram the Man I'm in love, but I'm lazy. Why don't you please come home? Will the wind that blew your boat across the sea kindly send you sailing back to me? Boo doo Donna Pie, you are driving me crazy. I'm in love, but I'm lazy. Why don't you please come home? Donna Pie, you are driving me crazy. I'm in love, but I'm lazy. Why don't you please come home? His charm is so contagious, vaccines have been created for it. Years ago, he built a city out of blocks. Today, over 600,000 people live and work there. He is the only man to ever ace a Rorschach test. Every time he goes for a swim, dolphins appear. Alien abductors have asked him to probe them. If he were to give you directions, you'd never get lost, and you'd arrive at least five minutes early. His legend precedes him, the way lightning precedes thunder. He is... Random Man. The most interesting man in the world. R-T-M Radio. Just a little, okay, little, okay, little, okay, little, okay, little, okay. Forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever. Hey. Ah, now there's a good song right there. Oh, Randy Travis. You know, he don't live too far from me, actually. He's probably about 40 miles or so. Well, he is did. That, I don't is that the man you told me is on the car advert that lives up the road? No, that's, uh, that's the dude from uh, Blazing Saddles. No, Randy Travis, he, was, uh, he got busted for being a big drunk and running around naked. I think you probably got that from Joshua, I would say. But uh, he, 
turned into a big drunk and got in lots of trouble over here. Not too, well, a couple years back or so, I think it was, but uh, still love his music. The guy's a hell of a singer. That's And let's that's welcome sure. back Sandy Fisher. Hello, Sandy. Awesome news to have you back in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. Does anyone welcome get the back. feeling that Brad Paisley is a comeback for Ray Stevens? Huh? Uh-huh. Who's Ray Stevens? Um... Ray Stevens, he's the one that does like the Mississippi Squirrel Revival. And, uh, oh, is that Ray and, Stevens? Yeah. Oh. Brad Paisley, I never cared for him, but. Uh, I was uh, I was watching got that. some good tunes. Yeah, Jib Jab asked me earlier, was we watching, uh, have I watched that Mississippi, Mississippi Squirrel, Squirrel Revival? Revival. I'm and not we, sure. Go ahead, I'm I sorry. I watched it on the screenshot, screen share. Me and Randy sometimes, we, scare, we share screens and uh, we were watching it. What a silly video. It's just the coolest. I don't know what you're talking about, Angela. Doing it in a truck was your last statement I saw. But yeah, doing it in a truck is pretty wild. I'll give you that much. Especially when you got one of those little coffin bunks. She can't crawl away from you. <laughs> Chris, Christine, I'm, ter- I'm terrible with names. I'm absolutely terrible with names. But I'm especially over in the UK, people, people in the UK just don't really hear of Ray Stevens. You know, I'd only really... I think it was that... Uh, don't look, Ethel, song that... Uh, the streak. The, yeah. The, yeah, that one. Look out, Ethel! Otherwise, no. otherwise, I'd have never heard of him. And the gorilla song, what was watching on screen? Don't look, song. Ethel! Oh, that's a guitar saying. Yeah, wow! gu- guitar saying. Guitar yeah, saying. Yeah, last week. With his funky monkey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so cool. Oh, he's got all kinds of fun. Honestly, stuff. in the UK, we just, don't, we just don't hear of these people. See, Angela knows what it's like to do the horizontal bop in a big truck. <laughs> ah. I wish you'd have went trucking with me. Holy crap. I'll come trucking with you. Nothing like kicking the bunk doors open if you got them on each end of the bunk. Let, let's take letting a... your feet and your head hang out and bopping around all night long. Well, you know, you know, in a few weeks' time, aye, aye, aye. you've got to meet me at the airport. Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to borrow somebody's truck, though. Yes, sir. Can I borrow somebody's big truck for a night? I promise I'll change the sheets. <laughs> Ahab, the Arab, with, bing, with rings on her fingers and bells in her bone. No. So if anybody go? wants to l- lend Randy the lorry in a few weeks' time. <laughs> with rings on her fingers and bells on her toes and a bone in her nose. Ho, ho. Yeah, that's another good song, too. I'm a nudist and you won't let me be naked all the time because you could be naked all you want, man. I was just kidding about putting your but clothes on. But seriously, though, guys, I haven't got a clue what people who what people's names are. You know, famous people, people in bands. Um, I just haven't got a clue who anybody is. You know, some people though they read lots of magazines and newspapers, and I just don't read newspapers. It's going to get messy, it's, Kathy. And it was only when I was in <laughs> Texas that I was watching the news. I mean, now I know. Now I know different things about politics, which I'd never had a clue about. And Randy's been teaching me different bits. Yeah, pretty sick but, um, shit, isn't it? I have I had absolutely no clue about anything until Randy started. Oh, you know me. it, Angela. You know and another thing, I really used to love to drive in a Houston rain, man. I'll tell you what. You go through Houston and it'll rain sometimes. It rains so damn hard you can't see the end of the hood. I mean that was some wicked shit. But yeah. Bebopping in the middle of the night and all of a sudden that you hear that Kathy says we can get jiggy jiggy in her truck. <laughs> this it'll shit be just jiggy got- jiggy, all right. You'd have to get a scraper to scrape the sheets loose. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to boot out them pups. <laughs> they got to make up for some lost time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that put a smile on her face. <laughs> we'll have to boot out them puppies. The seatbelt's in the bunk? <coughs> yeah, strap that bitch down. She ain't going nowhere. One around the ankles and one around the hands, buddy. That's it. Help yourself. Rest y'all homebound. <laughs> My first was in a Swift truck. Oh, no. That's embarrassing. I wouldn't tell anybody that. I would have lied. Said it was a big old, uh, you know, big old rig of some sort, but not that. But I guess. I guess. They all got to be broke in one time or another. Mine smells like white diamonds. Do I want to know? <laughs> Your what smells like white diamonds? <laughs> Please tell me now before my mind starts wandering in terrible directions. Me, I'm not looking for diamonds. I'm looking for that pearl. That's the key to everything right there. <laughs> oh, you nasty, nasty lot. I'm telling you. But you got to love it anyways. 15 minutes to go, and then we're out of here. So just thought I'd give you a quick warning. Um, got a couple of old trucking songs left here yet, but nothing fancy. Uh, a Volvo. Look, at, they're still getting excited over there. My first was a Covenant uh, truck. Excuse me. Do you want a video? Ha-ha! <laughs> not! 
getting the video is about as good as me singing at Kathy's oh, wedding. Oh, okay. White diamonds a truck. All right. Okay. Oh, a white uh, diamond. Are you kidding me? That, that You're either giving away your age or you guys had a real old truck. It's a good job my innocent mind wasn't thinking in it, naughty thoughts. I know. I was thinking, you know. Imagine. Pearl, and she's talking about a truck. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'll keep the dogs. What the hell? They can clean up the mess when we're done. They can lick it up. They like to l- l- clean up nasty stuff like that. I mean, if they eat roadkill, I'm sure they're all right with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nasty. Oh, my God. All right. Let's uh, move right. I don't know. I don't care what we do, really, at the, at the moment. What time? How long we got left? We have. Well, we have just over 15 minutes. Seems like I just said that like uh, 30 right. seconds ago. Oh, I wasn't listening. I know, my head's starting to pound, Rand, too. I Randy go, just yawned, and it's made me yawn. I gotta freaking go get some rest, man. My throat and my head are starting to kill me now. Let's just talk shit for the next 15 minutes. We talk shit the whole friggin' time. What are you talking about? Well, we can do another 15 minutes. I love Randy Travis' music, though. He's got some pretty cool stuff. We're still you're, on the board here. Kathy says you'll get a cold, no, cold, cold nose on your butt. Woo, 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 woo. Been there, done that, that's for sure. What, you had a cold nose on your butt? What are you laughing about, Angela? Do tell. You had a cold nose on your butt. I think she's more thinking about the pearl. (laughs) (laughs) Well, anyways. Oh, your truck smells like white diamonds. So what's white diamonds? I don't know. Pussy juice? I'm not sure. Does my mind have to go wandering off again? Do tell. I don't know. That's where mine went. (laughs) What do I know? I'm just an old white guy. I can't believe he's lighting his bag with a fishing rod. <laughs> I'm using my rod to light my rod. <laughs> are you coming through the mall, are you? Taking it in turns. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Carrie broke the airbags. <laughs> well, that must have been some serious humping and pumping there. Donna, did, how, how did you swap snot with Randy from way over there? I think it's... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I she think had anything to do with it, really. I think it's pure coincidence, to be honest. You know, um, the climate change, for me, you know, it was, it's, been, uh, it's been threatening. That cold has been threatening me for weeks and weeks and weeks, and then all of a sudden it was, like, slap hard in the face. But the temperature is just, uh, like, Randy's, like, Randy's had, like, cold weather all last week, and then, like, today he's been in the 60s. And yeah, and Darby, I went right outside, you know, dumb me, but... And Man, in Derby, the temperature's been the temperature in Derby. We've had like snow, <sighs> and then it's been today. To me, it seemed like it was really, really warm. But everybody else said it was cold. So I think, you know, I think that was probably still like me, me being down with something. I guess. I remember Liz Taylor doing the White Diamonds commercial. She was such a doll, man. Her and oh, uh, White Diamonds of perfume. I'll oh. tell you what, there was some hot friggin' actresses back in the day, man. I'm not impressed with them nowadays. They're all skinny and. I don't know. I'm not impressed, but I'll tell you what, Liz Taylor and uh, oh, the Italian goddess. Oh, my God. What the hell's her name now? Look at that. I love that woman. I look at her pictures all the time. I'm on one of her all posts. All the time. can't even remember what her name is. is. Is Liz Taylor that one on that Snickers advert where she goes, shut it, Stimpy? Um, I don't think so. She's dead. Oh. Oh, that's not the one then. <laughs> if it is, she ain't looking too good. No, shut it, shrimpy. Who's who's that on that advert? I don't Nickers, know. Nickers, you'll know the one. Is Nickers still here? I don't know. I think, I think, think so. he's gone. He might have fallen asleep. I like um, I like to wear eternity. Mm. I absolutely love it. Yes, Patty, Sophia Loren. Oh my God, that woman is like <whistles> the Italian stallion of women. I'm on her uh, on a page that they post Sophia Loren pictures. Oh my God, that woman is just freaking gorgeous. I always wondered if her armpits are hairy, being Italian. Bo Derek? No, I don't know. She was all right, but I wasn't impressed by that. Really, I wasn't. Wicked body. I'm not going to say she wasn't hot looking, but she just, I don't know. I guess, be, you know, and uh, I was pointing out to Donna at one time. I'm on a site, Vintage uh, Movie Actresses, I think it's called, or something like that. And... Uh, they're posting pictures of all these vintage uh, actresses from all these old movies and stuff, and they all have their legs show, and they wear all these very classy, very sexy clothes. But they're, I mean, they're, they're, you just have to look, they're beautiful. But, uh, you know, the legs, and I think that's why I was always a leg man, is because I grew up, you know, in the 60s and, 
you know, Playboy was all the, always the legs with the Playboy bunny outfits and all that, and just, you know, and Sophia Loren, the legs. They got one picture of her where she was on a boat. I forget what movie it was. All wet, man, nipples showing, nice clingy outfit to her, but yet she's still dressed and covered, very sexy. You know, when things were done right now, it's just, I'm just not impressed. Anne Margaret, absolutely, beautiful doll. Michael Douglas, yeah, he was a good-looking guy when he was young. Did you know Michael Douglas is the guy, is the voice for NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams? Do you know, I, um, I actually have a picture of myself with Michael Douglas, and is it Samantha Fox? She's an actress. Yeah, and she always had a tits out. Yeah, she's a porn actress. Yeah, I've got a picture of me somewhere standing next to a cardboard cutout of Michael Douglas and Samantha Fox on Blackpool P- Beach, and she's got a tits out. And I must have been about six years old or something. And Raquel Welch, there's another killer babe. Oh, my God, was she friggin' built to the hilt. Whit, woo! Killer, killer actress, man. A lot of good-looking guy actors, too, back then. Donna was even talking about one the other day. Um, oh, him that was, um... Him that was played, uh, Von, Von Trapp in the oh, yeah, and Sound the, of and Music. Oh, yeah, the Sound of Music. Von, oh, what Mr. Handsome Von man. Trapp. Yeah, he was a pretty good-looking guy, man. He was kind of weird. But don't get me started looking. on uh, Dick Van Dyke. I don't care how many people moan about his British accent Night, in, Becky. in Mary Poppins. I thought his accent was cool. I thought he was a Brit all these years until about a year ago. But he was one hot, hot, hot man. Say good night, Becky. Good night, Becky. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Raquel's still wicked. Hell yeah, there's a lot of them left that are still hot, but they're dying off fast, man, that's for sure. You know, Phyllis Diller, what a doll. <laughs> Love that laugh. Now, there Phyllis was a funny Diller. Woman. All right, then. Who is Phyllis Diller? I'm just and you know why I'm asking who Phyllis Diller is? Because of that song that Christine wants us to sing. Do you remember right at the end? And they're talking about, um, she says something like, oh, after the day I've had and I still look like a movie star. And well, the, and, the blo- Diller. and the bloke says, yeah, Phyllis Diller. Don't you remember in that song? Oh, I, may, I put the Phyllis Diller part in there. Did he you? didn't say that. Oh, really? Oh, we're not done with that song yet. Shh. Shh. Sorry. Is that the same song? Yeah, we're not done with that yet. Yeah. Shush. That's say no more. Let's say on. no more about that. What's as old as dirt? What's she talking about? <laughs> yeah, old movies, man. They were all cool as hell. Can't That's dead. right, Sandy. I ain't got no panties on. Is that what that odor is? Yeah. 5,000 miles. It's drifted across the ocean. Shut your legs, love. Your meat smells. But it keeps the flies off me chips. Buddy, Betty White. Now, there's a hottie, man. She's tougher than Chuck Norris. She scares Chuck Norris. That's for sure. Yeah, Betty White, funny, man. Oh, what a great woman, too. She was hot looking when she was young. I ain't got no panties on. HR Puff, my stuff. <laughs> you talking about witchy poo? Thank you. I couldn't get my pucker to pucker. Oh, man. Good night, Mr. Tim. Good night. Sleep well. Good Glad night, you got Tim. to stop by for the sexy session. Dave's holding his nose. It's not Shut that bad. Dave. <laughs> I do not need no encouragement from you, thank you. Oh. Shop. Never hurts, though. Oh, man. Anyways, well, let's see. We've gone from sex in a truck to old actresses. No one is as sexy as Carrie. Good man. Good man. Oh, boy, did you score big. You're getting late again tonight. Fifth time in a row. There you go. All right. Well, I guess we're about done, man. I'm just not feeling good. Time to go lay down. I'm going to drink some NyQuil and pass out. It's exactly what I plan on doing. I love my NyQuil. The fire will just have to go out and it'll have to get cold because I'm sleeping tonight. That's all there is to it. Caesar, he's just going to chomp on his bone. He's already went back to bed. <coughs> he's smarter than the rest of us. <coughs> well, you guys, thanks. Many, many thanks for coming by this whole weekend. You I just gorgeous, love it when you guys bunch. come by here. Keep sharing the shirt page. Keep sharing the speaker page. You know. You got a riding crop. Uh Uh-oh. Who are you fixing to use that on? The next guy that comes along. Are you married, Angela? I was curious. Well, she says earlier that she's going to be seeing her fella soon. Thanks, Patty. I I will. It's just a headache. Oi! What? I said, I think she's got a fella because she mentioned seeing a fella soon. Oh, really? Well, that's who she's going to use it on. That's who she was talking about. The message come from. 
she gets a hold of him in that riding crop, it's going to be one of those. Yeah, baby. She'll fix him. Say goodbye to me and goodbye to Donna. Oh, goodbye to me and goodbye to Donna. Good night, everyone, too. Love Good you night. all. Thank you very much for coming by. I guess we'll go ahead and get the hell out of Dodge because uh, I've had enough. My throat is starting to really, really hurt, and I'm sure smoking ain't going to help any. Thanks to Dave for that. He's the one that got me hooked on him again right after I'd quit. So, yeah, I'm blaming you. That's just the way it is. So, thank you, Patricia. You and Marty are too much, man. Just can't thank you guys enough. You have a boyfriend? Very good. Um, all right. Night, Mrs. Dave. Thank you. Good night, Kathy. Good night, Angela. Good night, Joshua. Thanks, Numb Nuts, if you're still out there. Appreciate it. Always nice. And it's such a nice message you sent your wife, too. That was great. So, I guess that's it. Till next Friday, unless Dave gets bored. Yeah. <laughs> that's about how it goes, isn't it? Let's do a little... Uh, goodbye to Dave and uh, wait a minute where am I let's get that back up here we'll play that we'll say good night and then we're going like a cool breeze how's that sound perfect huh perfect 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 well it's got to be I guess if I spell perfect the words right. perfect it's got to be worth it well I can't find it Let's keep her singing. Too many people take second best, but I won't take anything less. It's got to be, yeah, perfect. Have keep, you got it yet? Keep singing. Okay. No. Young hearts are foolish. They make such <laughs> mistakes. They're much too eager to give their love away. Well, I have been foolish too many times. Now I'm determined I'm going to get it right. Go it's on. got to be perfect. It's got to be worth it, yeah. Have you found it yet? I guess I'm looking in the wrong place, that's Do all. It now. I got it there, Ethel. Shut up! Do it! Good now. God Almighty! Hi, this is Mr. Dave. You can all be gay like me with Brand the Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. We want you on our cruise! Summers, meet the summers, they're a modern cruising family. From the town of Cincy, they are out of those of history. history. Let's cruise with the summers on the ship, through the courtesy of Bridging Trip. When you're with the summers, have a giggly wiggly do time, a wiggly woo time, we'll all be gay like Dave. And of course, as you know, this is where we all say goodbye to Dave by singing his favorite part. Goodbye to me. Goodbye to Dave. We'll all be gay like Dave. <laughs> say goodnight, Donna. Cheap Donna. Donna. What are we going to do today? Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The Yankee, Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. The Yankee and, and the Brit. Brit. One is a genius. The other's a twit. On the radio, the beans have been spiced. The Yankee, the Yankee, and the Brit, 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 Brit. Before the show is done, the killing will have begun by the end of the show. The heads will explode. The Yankee and the Brit, the Yankee and the Brit. The ranting campaign can never be explained. To prove the radio work, they'll take over the earth. The Yankee, the Yankee, and the Brit, 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 Brit. Don't. Brand the man on RTM Radio. Bye.
Da-da-da-da-da. <laughs>